Hi there. Welcome to Banana World. Have you at any point seen somebody bungling through a meeting? All things considered, on the off chance that you haven't, watch Gailey Lord request Tyler Perry answer one of the hardest inquiries he's ever received in his profession. Yet, you've likewise been scrutinized at times by your own kin and by your kindred partners. Is it true or not that you were looking for approval at this time? Or was that something that you gave any consideration to? Tyler Perry is clearly one of the greatest movie makers and heads of our age. Yet his distinguished lifetime hasn't been shy of contentions, particularly from a segment of laid-back dark entertainers who accept the medium maker's depiction of individuals of color as powerless. Yet, very much like Tyler Perry, he paints an extremely bad depiction of people of color. We ain't simply terrible, like Jesus Christ. One of the extremely regarded entertainers who have supposedly gotten down on Tyler Perry is the unbelievable honor-winning entertainer Denzel Washington. Paying attention to him, it is not difficult to see the reason why such countless individuals regard his assessments. So I simply continue to push. All things considered, what an open door. I need to refute them. Discredit Perry. Perhaps. In any case, fortunately, Denzel isn't the only one in this battle. His opinions on Perry depicting individuals of color as detestable have additionally been voiced by incredible Chief Spike Lee and media master Charlemagne. That God, among others. Tyler, we ain't just terrible. Like Jesus Christ, he paints us out to be genuine negative men. Spike Lee has been more straightforward on his issues with Perry. However, I actually think a great deal of the stuff on today is coonery horseplay, and I know it's raking in some serious cash. So is it genuine that Tyler Perry benefits from making individuals of color anti-heroes in his films, with fair-looking individuals ending up being the guardian angels towards the end of his plot? We should figure out more. Tyler Perry is no more bizarre to analyze, as it should be. One movie producer and culture provocateur, Spike Lee, broadly held a complaint towards Perry, saying he built up racial generalizations. Perry is likewise frequently blamed for loathing people of color, selling out individuals of color and dealing with sayings that, for the most part, disparage individuals of lore. Much thanks to you for allowing me to remain here. Come here whenever you need it, day or night. However long you don't remain excessively lengthy. You're leaving just after graduation, right, darling? A large portion of these grievances are placed on his Medea character, which Perry blusteringly plays in drag. Amixia said is motivated by his mom and most loved auntie, two ladies who immensely affected him. All things considered, people of color in drag have been seen by certain individuals as hazardous. In this present reality, where there are claims that people of color are frequently castrated, cross-dressing seems to be a self-prompted wound. Maybe the training wouldn't be as adverse in the event that there were better portrayals of people of color in the films and on television. So that illuminates the inclination that Perry, inclining so hard into the training, is impeding and, to say the least, a treachery. Perry burst onto the scene in 2005 with Journal of a Frantic Person of Color, a film that highlighted Kimberly Elise, Lisa Marcos, and Cicely Tyson. The film was likewise a quick clapback at the absence of portrayal in Hollywood of stories that have for quite some time been a predominant and progressing issue. The equation used to deliver journal of a distraught individual of color would turn into Perry's format, using his Medea character as the promoting course to draw crowds to the multiplex, while allowing the female characters ordinarily to darkly convey the real story across the end goal. Reorder film industry hit after film industry hit. This layout was a sure thing for each film highlighting the Meta character in his motion pictures, not including Medea. The recipe for progress was somewhat more troublesome, yet effective. An illustration of this was why did I get hitched? And for what reason did I get hitched as well? Neither film profited from an appearance from the Medea character, however. Both were decently beneficial and highlighted a procession of individuals of color, including famous pop star Janet Jackson. The movie chief once again introduced the world to the brightness of amazing actor Cicely Tyson, assisted Angela Bassett with getting her score back, gave shelter to Thandiwee Newton, 
pulled Kesha Knight Pulliam from the cinders of The Cosby Show and gave Tara G. P. Henson her most memorable driving job. Perry additionally sent off obscure dark entertainers to dark family superstardom, R&B, and neo-soul vocalist Jill Scott, gospel craftsman Tamala Mann, and Tasha Scott all immediately became darkly popular. Indeed, Tyler has turned out to be useful too, but at what cost? Studies of Perry's work range from strengthening to debilitating women. Similar focuses are what Denzel Charlemagne and Spike Lee have been tending to for a really long time. A few commentators find that the emphasis put on issues influencing individuals of color and the African-American population is sensible and engaging, and that individuals of color currently have a voice. What's more, the portrayals could be a catalyst for positive change for people of color. Others view Tyler Perry's movies as undermining people of color in that they are frequently depicted as requiring a man and bound to destitution. What's more, through his depiction of the Medea character, a probably solid person of color in a male-controlled society actually wins in his movies. Eventually, the Dares have reasoned that the cliche portrayals and symbolism present in Tyler Perry films can proceed with negative presumptions about ladies of variety specifically. This was so self-centered and off-base. Could it be said that you are taking part in extramarital entanglements with the president? You realize how she's living up there? I couldn't care less. Some time back, subsequent to confronting monstrous consecutive intensity for his creations, the New Orleans local endured a reaction for collecting an all-white cast for the Tender Loving Care Show series excessively near and dear. In any case, Perry dismissed the analysis, a lot of it via online entertainment. Some doubted his projecting decisions, with one considering the show an unequaled low for the maker when the series circulated in 2016. That is absolutely converse prejudice since it was coming from African-American individuals, said Perry, talking with the related press in his office at Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. I couldn't say whether it was on the grounds that they figured I ought to just be giving tasks to individuals of color. All things considered, I believe that is crazy. Assuming that you take a gander at the many individuals of color I've given positions to, and surprisingly, the ones I've made moguls and ethnic minorities, I simply believe it's unreasonable. Here in the center of this achievement, while simultaneously holding my hand and my feet, I'm actually clutching to all that I've had. It seems Denzel's analysis of Perry is completely worth the effort. All things considered, he is viewed as one of the trailblazing dark entertainers in Hollywood. In 2019, the entertainer was regarded by Hollywood for a spearheading profession, spreading over 50 years and two Oscars that opened the door for an age of dark celebrities, Perry included. I'm up here to say thank you to God for giving me this capacity, for gifting me, for molding me, for chastening me, for showing me, and for rebuffing me. Chief and continuous teammate Spike Lee gave the then 64-year-old the American Film Establishment Life Accomplishment Grant on an occasion at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. We, as a whole, are here since we love Denzel. There have been a few references this evening to the GOAT. That implies the best ever. Hollywood's little first class of elite dark driving men honored Denzel's exploring profession with individual Oscar champs Morgan Freeman, Jamie Foxx, and Mahershala Ali making that big appearance. Dark Jaguar stars the late Chadwick Boseman and Michael B. Jordan did as such as well. You prepared. You showed us the way. Yet, what's genuinely fantastic is that your impact and your range rise above race while never denying it, said Ali. We are here since we stand on the shoulders of a Goliath. The late Boseman said there is no dark puma without Denzel Washington, alluding to Wonder's most memorable film to zero in on a dark superhuman. I know that your liberality stretches beyond what you have given on stage and screen. Hollywood has been vigorously scrutinized for its variety issue, prominently in the Oscar Also White crusade encompassing the 2016 Foundation grants. Furthermore, any semblance of Perry is killed for not doing what's necessary to change that. Regardless of having the stage to do that up until 2019, Denzel was one of just four dark stars to win a Best Entertainer Oscar. 
He won a Best Supporting Entertainer Oscar for the American National Conflict Epic Greatness of 1989 and a Best Entertainer Oscar for his terrible cop character in The Wrongdoing Thrill Ride, Preparing Day of 2001. Back to Perry Denzel's analysis of his work has all the earmarks of being very legitimate, particularly seeing his inventory, beginning with the film Valuable. In this film, it is very evident that Perry likes to criticize dark entertainers. I go by Clarice Valuable Jones. I need to be on the cover of a magazine. I wish I had a fair-looking beau with genuine, decent hair. Valuable wasn't just a Striver's message film. Perry perceived its misleading publicity as esteem. Here is the plot. It is an account of an overweight, dark young lady who is more than once assaulted and impregnated by her dad and attacked and beaten by her mom. It comes from a 1990s personality governmental issues novel by a writer named Sapphire. It heaps on self-indulgence and recrimination which is predictable for what people of color and ladies despise watching. As per its fault finders, advancing this film wasn't simply a way for Perry to glorify himself. It helped convert his confidential plan into an intensely advertised social distraction. Yet, Perry and his accomplice, Oprah Winfrey, weren't exactly kept from sinking into the ghetto of insensibility like such dull, dark-themed films. That is on the grounds that the movie's author chief, Lee Daniels, works the lewd side of the dark Strivers Road. Supposedly, Daniels knows how to pull off a bigoted stunt. As the maker of the Beast's Ball, Daniels represented Halle Berry's ravishment as reconciliation. Kevin Bacon tantalized pedophilia in Daniels, the woodsman, and his first time at the helm, Shadowboxer.